for Great Britain now, it really will be about establishing that middle thousand. They got so close at the World Championships last year. Carapiro, New Zealand, home water. And this pair really do believe that they can overhaul Murray and Vaughan. So they're coming forward. Great Britain away slowly compared to New Zealand lane at number four. The Kiwis are out quick as they look to continue their impressive run of 12 consecutive wins over Great Britain in the men's heavyweight coxless pairs. There's New Zealand, the black strip, the world champions powering out through the first 100 meters. In lane one, when we're alongside Italy, Greece are in two, Great Britain, the world silver medalist. They have trailed New Zealand now for the last two years in three. New Zealand are in four, Canada in five, and Hungary are in lane number six. Early race leaders up there in one, the, Ita the Italians. Well, there and the Canadians up there as well. The Canadians are very fast, uh, high-rating crew. They'll be at 38 strokes a minute. Um, and they'll stay at that all the way over the course. But they certainly, all four crews there, Italy, uh, Great, uh, Italy, um, New Zealand, and the Canadians have taken a, a good, strong lead off Great Britain. Great Britain settling now into 36 strokes a minute. Well, the crew that you're watching, the British crew of Peter Reid and Han Andy Hodge, just absolutely believe that they can beat New Zealand. And that's why they've been given another run through this year to really take them on. But right now, coming through the, towards the first timing mark, it is Canada closest to us, about six or so feet over Italy in lane number one, and the world champions in the black strip sitting in third position. Through the first timing mark, it's 500 down. It's Canada, New Zealand, that has Greece there, but it's actually Italy are in third position there. And the British crew have got some work to do now if they've got to get back in to the race into that second 500. The important thing is if you get a great start in that first five, it gives you the confidence to step down into your rhythm. When you're lagging behind, you're coming into the rhythm and you have to work up to get the speed here. So this is the sort of psychological difference as New Zealand start to pave the way through. They're taking the lead. New Zealand, they just do, they did that in about 20 strokes. They have such flexibility, New Zealand. They, they saw there was a danger from Canada, who really were moving very fast, Scott Branson in the stroke seat. But then they just pushed on and look at that. Very, very quickly, they've gone right the way through and they've taken the lead uh, from Italy on the top, at the top of the picture there. Remember that Italy were at Henley um, last week and Great Britain beat Italy at Henley. But Great Britain sitting back in the field and they're not going to catch these New Zealanders. Very, very hard to see now what they're going to do as they come towards the halfway mark here. First time since Carapira, these two crews have come up against each other. So it's all about making a big, big statement. And uh, Eric Murray and Hamish Bond here just laying it down so we are continue to be the world champions you have got to do an awful lot great britain if you're going to overhaul us looking at canada Calderon franson silver medalist in this event in beijing in 2008. well it's just been absolutely incredible who would have thought coming through the thousand meter mark in this final at lucerne the men's heavyweight coxless pair that new zealand would have just walked away from Great Britain who are now languishing right back there in fifth position and they are struggling to find any kind of speed any kind of rhythm that is just going to put them on pace with those crews around them much less the New Zealand crew who are leading and just enjoying this now here well, Hamish Bond to the left and you've got Eric Murray on your right they are sitting there now a street ahead of everybody else they've just cut right through the field and look how far they are now against Great Britain there's there's no coming back for Great Britain. Uh, they thought that they'd improved, they thought they'd moved on, but the flow and the ease of stroke from New Zealand, who are still moving away here, they've just cut right away from, uh, from Canada, five, five lengths now ahead of, of Great Britain. They flow, they move, they're up at, uh, at, uh, at uh, 37 strokes a minute, high rating, but they just flow easily, they let their boat run, and they've got a lot of flexibility in there as well, so they can just turn it on if they need to um, when they're under more pressure. Pete Reed, uh, Dan Pete Reed and Andy Hodge sat down with Jurgen Grobler after last year's World Championships where they got the closest by about a couple of feet to New Zealand in that final. And they said, we really do believe another winter, another season, and we will catch them. 
Well, Jürgen Grobler, who will be watching this from the side here, around the 1,000 meter mark, will have to be really thinking about recalculating his ambitions going forward for this crew. Well, Gary, he's, you know, he, he can see that he's not going to win a gold medal at the Olympics in this boat. Will he stay together with, with this, this uh, combination through to the Bled ch uh, Championships in seven weeks' time? Who knows? It's the last 500 metres of this final of the men's heavyweight coxless pairs, and New Zealand now are just strolling away. They've really got the grip of this race in the first three or four strokes, got out quickly, got into their rhythm, they whipped it along, and uh, Great Britain really struggled in lane number three here. Well, we thought that uh, New Zealand would win. What we didn't think was by the impressive lead that they have established right now. And they are just enjoying this paddle. They can enjoy the crowd as they come up towards the last 250 metres. Okay, they're 38 strokes a minute and cruising, and uh, 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 they are unstoppable. And what will be in their mind? Shall we try and bury the competition from uh, from Great Britain right now and let's see how much we can uh, beat them by or should we let should we should we tantalize them and stay a little bit closer in touch here this is domination this is complete domination so Great Britain now are in a race there they are Peter Reed and Andy Hodge Reed from Leander Hodge from Molsey Boat Club they're racing for the silver medal and they're racing against a very impressive Canadian crew the last time this Canadian crew got together called on France and they won the silver medal in Beijing at the Olympic Games and this is the quality now in this field the Canadians now just shorting up slightly little look right there from Paul here the sprint is on surely they can't hold Great Britain who are the current world silver medalist but out front coming up to the line here looking long and impressive they continue to dominate this event they continue to dominate Great Britain it's 13 wins in a row now for New Zealand over Great Britain who are it has to be said just limping over the line into the silver medal position and Canada get the bronze well that's pretty pretty conclusive I mean it's uh, that's the first meeting they've had this year New Zealand and Great Britain um, and uh, New Zealand 